Hi guys, I'm Amy Cunningham and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe and try to give you some background information about the text and some of the themes that come up in the text um, and get you prepared and ready and excited to read it. So if you think about the theme of survival um, and thinking about texts that ask these questions, what, asks, what aspects of life challenge us? What obligations does an individual have to the group in a survival situation? What aspects of a person's character make them survivors? Mask of the Red Death um, raises all of these questions. It doesn't answer them, but it raises all of these questions. So as you read, you might think about that. The story was written in what's known as the American Gothic period. Um, that's just about right before the Civil War. And um, Gothic, I know people associate these days with fashion and melancholy, um, but it actually goes back to a period of writing that was part of the Romantic era. And in that era, people wrote about imagination. They wrote about fantasy. And this period sparked today's entire genre of horror, suspense, and supernatural stories. You could say they're the granddaddies of those uh, genres. And so often in Gothic literature, you'll see very imaginative, but also creepy ways of thinking about human psychology and human nature. Edgar Allan Poe is known as the grandfather of modern horror. He, you probably know him from The Raven. Um, he had a very tragic life. He was orphaned at a young age. Um, because his parents died from disease and he lost many people over his, the course of his life to disease and other um, tragic things happened to him in his life. And so it makes sense that he would write um, scary stories if you think about that. He used imagery and setting to make his stories scary. And really, I believe that his writing was his way of dealing with his inner sadness and his tragic life and trying to cope with those things and still uh, manage to be in this world and surviving. So the story is set in a time of the plague um, and it's the mask of the Red Death, but note that it's mask as in masquerade, not as in wearing a mask, although masquerades do involve wearing a mask. And so it uh, features Prince Prospero who is in charge of the land during this pandemic. Um, and he, I won't tell you the whole story, but throughout the story, it talks about a party that he has there are seven rooms in the party that are described in detail, and some people find ways to equate those rooms with the seven deadly sins, raising questions about sort of the um, idea that this story has some sort of moral to it. The characters in the story are decadent, and he uses a lot of intense imagery to create atmosphere, visual imagery, sound imagery, and he often compares things to make something that might not be creepy seem really creepy. So when he describes something as red, he might say it's blood red. So thinking about writing, and the story is tragic. It's a, it is a, the story is a tragedy. Um, Poe's life was tragic. And so the question I, I am left with is how can writing help us through the challenges we face. Um, many writers and artists uh, deal with their sort of inner demons or their inner tragedies through their artwork. One of those uh, people is Jim Morrison, who was the front man for The Doors. And he was a poet, he was a writer, um, but he was also a philosopher. And he said, feelings are disturbing. People are taught that if pain is evil and dangerous, how can they deal with, lo how can they deal with love if they're afraid to feel? People try to hide their pain, but they're wrong. Pain is something to carry, like a radio. You feel your strength in the experience of pain. It's all in how you carry it. That's what matters. Pain is a feeling. Your feelings are a part of you, your own reality. If you feel ashamed of them and hide them, you're letting society destroy your reality. You should stand up for your right to feel your pain. And when you read the story, the cask, or sorry, the, um, the Mask of the Red Death, um, then I want you to think about the ways in which that story might express some of the pain that Edgar Allan Poe was carrying like a radio and not just look at it as a creepy story, but think about this idea of writing, not just to survive, but perhaps even to thrive. So that's all I got for you on The Mask of the Red Death. I hope you enjoy reading it. It is, um, it is an interesting story, even if you just read it as a creeper, uh, but uh, that's all I got and uh, right on.